Is that now? Second from 
Okay. Uh, Rip. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Quarter. I have motion and second. All in favor, please raise your hand. Unanimous. We'll be here in this meeting room the first Tuesday in November. Next case we'll call is VAR 2013-15. Enrique and Blanca Fayetto. Uh, am I saying that wrong? 7419 Morgan Road, Hay Hiram. Yes, sir. This second request is a non-conforming use. As you can see, the property is on the commercial and it has a residence on it. Um, the residence has been there for six to seven years. The applicant in this case is um, requesting to build an addition onto their non conforming use. Um, the addition does require that you all grant a variance. The addition is for a bedroom addition, 20 by 24. And the applicants are here to answer any questions about what that is, make recommendation of approval, citing criteria B. Okay, any questions from the board at this time? Okay, is there anyone here in support or is the applicant here would like to give us any additional information? Yes, please come to the lecture. here in support of this application other than the applicant? Is anyone here in opposition to this case? Does anyone here has questions or needs to know what's going on? Carmelo, was there any contact to your office concerning this case that we need to talk about? Yes, sir. There was one visitor and it was more of an inquiry than an opposition or support. Okay. Any questions? Any discussions from the board? Carmelo, am I correct? This it's not a setback issue, it's just an uh, existing non-conforming. That's correct. They, uh, in this the addition, they will be the setback requirements. All right. Just for clarification, thank you. Sure. Now, this is enlarging a non-conforming <coughs> use, which they can't do without it. Okay. There's no questions or comments. Would I entertain a motion on this request? I move that we Criteria D. I have a motion on the floor granting the request as presented, citing criteria D. I have a second from Orenstein. All in favor, please raise a hand. Unanimous, good luck with it. Please make it look good so the neighbors don't complain. Mm -hmm.
is restore its sense of average. What he's proposing to do is expand and enclose, unenclose attachments on either side to therefore expand the accessory structure. He's proposing one unenclosed um, section for bone storage and the other unenclosed attachment to be a patio grill and patio. The concrete slab or the concrete pad is already there on each, on each side. The issue is, as you can see, there's the single family residence and the additions already under construction. Jason's property is also single family residence. The reason this isn't in front of you is because the additions are too close to the property line. Accessory structures are required to be at least 10 feet off the property line. This addition, this accessory structure is in the corner and is approximately five feet from the rear property line and approximately 3.83 feet from the second property line. So on both sides, it's a little bit too close. Staff reviewed the request, also taking into consideration that there is a drainage easement in the rear of this property. And we unfortunately did not find any hardship and therefore we recommend the back. Any questions? Anyone have questions at this time for staff? Thank you very much. <coughs> Both, would you like to south 
Susan Stewart, who's sitting here. There is no encroachment on the back side of that. Everything is still at five feet. Exhibit number four. That is looking into the back of my property from the uh, residence directly behind this property. That's what that neighbor will see. You can see the existing building. You can barely see the, uh, the new structure. And exhibit C, uh, five, that's another photo of the existing building as it is today. Those two pictures were taken yesterday. All I'm requesting is that uh, I be granted the variance to just uh, lengthen that building to do the two things that I asked to do, um, as far as putting a boat shelter under on one end of it and a grilling on the other end of it. The only noises that will come from my yard are four little girls that run around out there from age three to eleven. Any questions? I have a question. Go ahead. Um, when was the elevated pad for, so that there was a concrete pad there for the dog pad? The, for, the it, elevated part, when was that for? It was for during the construction. Yeah. When, yeah. when, when was that? Like this year, last this year, year this five, year. five years ago? No, this, this year, within the last two months. That elevated pad, if, if you look, at the, uh, go to the, uh, the second exhibit. <clears throat> if you look at the path that the existing structure is sitting on, if I had come straight out to that path, I would have had to go into the terrain of, of, the, uh, of the yard to maintain a four inch. So I just poured a, basically a four inch path on top, even though at the building site, probably about 10 inches to maintain the, uh, the level of that table. Who owns the fence in this last picture? Is that your fence or your neighbor's fence? That's no, this fence here. Who owns this fence? That's mine. That's your fence. I have, I have a question. Reggie, you finish? Go ahead. Are you, um, are you through? Uh, are you finished, Reggie? Well, I yeah. did. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, maybe, um, Carmel, you can ask for this. Okay, um, just so, so I can be clear, um, had con construction commenced before a permit was secured in this instance? Okay. Yes, we did. Okay. Yes. All right. And how, how uh, far, I mean, how many months of these had construction taken place? This is for you prior to securing a permit. Okay, let me explain what happened later. I contacted my contractor. Okay. I stood in the backyard of my contract and asked him, did he have a permit? And who was responsible for the permit? And he said, normally the contractor would go get a permit. Okay. His, not, his statement to me was, I don't think we're going to need a permit. Okay. So he went on and, and did the job there. And so how long had uh, the construction been going on prior to uh, realizing that a permit? Two and a half days. Two and a half days. And then and to, after the stop, I completely stopped, okay? Everything stopped. And we got into the end of July, early August, when we had all the heavy rain. Part of the roof off my existing structure was, had been taken down on the, on the, uh, on the sockets. And I was getting water inside. I came down here and I talked to Mike Martin, explained the situation that I was having. And I asked him, I, you know, I'm getting a, a building that's being destroyed. Everything was up except uh, the, uh, the rafters were up uh, on the other end. The other end was already dried in. The north end that you see there where that new pad is, it was not, not up. And he told me to go on and put that up. So that it would not damage the integrity of the other building. Okay, so as it looks today, the picture we're seeing on the screen, I don't think we have that in this package. Is that the bottom right hand corner? That's, that's the way it looks right now. What, what does it look like right now? 
you've got that in your back. Is this right? Like this? Yes, that's the way it looks like. Okay. Is, there, is, there, is there a problem with the drainage, with the uh, runoff to the neighbor, to the adjoining neighbor's yard? Behind it? Whoever. Uh, Mrs. McCrary. Okay. She's going to actually have less rain due to the roof. Okay? Yeah. Yes. She's going to have less rain due to the roof because prior to was an undulated dog pad that slanted that way. Okay? 100% of the rain that came down on that concrete went behind that, that shelf. 100% of it. Now only at least 50% would go that way. Are the gutters around the uh, no. building? No. All of, the, all of the water off of my property will run to the southeast corner of my property. At the fence line between Mr. Stewart and myself. Every bit of it. As long as I live there, that's where it goes. Some of it will run under her fence. Any other questions, discussions? I've got uh, two letters here from neighbors. One being from uh, Ann Ames, who is my neighbor to the north. Also, run across the street, see you know, something. 